Hello everyone. Uh, let's have a quick view of the latest version of the DFLFRP for the Seagate firmware repair program. Before we enter the software, we need to check the hardware connection. So make sure you have connected the hardware properly. The USB cable, the power cable, the hard drive data cable, the hard drive power cable. Okay. So, uh, how to confirm if you have connected everything properly? So, go to the device manager, find three places. The first place to check is the disk drives. Make sure the SATA and PATA channels come up. The second place to check is the ports. Make sure the COM port of the hardware comes up to. The third place to check is the DFFRP device comes up. So from these three places, if they all come up normally, so this means all your connection is working well. After you have confirmed above things, go to the software. Open the software power on the hard drive. Users can scan the hard drive first and then find if there are any bad sectors or if you are able to scan the hard drive. Okay, you can go ahead because the scanning is not a problem. You can stop it. So here you can enter the software main interface. With the DFLFRP for Seagate, users can work with both the Seagate old hard drives and also the Seagate new hard drive, the F3. The hard drive I am connecting to the DFLFRP is one F3 hard drive, so I just enter the F3 part. Obtain its details. Click OK. The program is getting the firmware information. So let's see what functions are included inside. Some functions are disabled. This is because secret hard drives work with within ATM mode and COM mode. Users can open the COM port to switch to the COM mode, and then you will find the functions are enabled. Here, click this icon to enable the COM port. At this time, you will find these functions are enabled. If you close the COM port, it goes back to the ATM mode you will find these functions are disabled. So, when you are using the functions contained inside, make sure you are working in the right working mode. This part is very, very useful. Users can fix the most common firmware problems easily by just simple clicks. Anyway, users need to read the terminal messages to make sure you are using the right solution here. From security, users can remove the password or set password to the hard drive or unlock the HD with the set password. This one is very useful. When you find there are bad sectors on some LBAs, and then you can enter the LBA number to convert it to the head number. The so ROM functions read write ROM, generate the adaptive ROM, firmware operations. Users can work with the essay, the modules, the tracks, the CP. Users can also write common firmware to fix the firmware problems. Besides, users can also work with the system files by the system file read, write, and edit. 
This menu is for the defect list handling. So translator operations. This is one of the menu which is used most commonly. If the hard drive has a sector access problem, users can use the functions here, regenerate translator, restore translator, single IP adjustment, clear end list, edit to list. So format with PG list, erase sector, specific repair. And these ones are for bad sector repair. If you want to repair bad sectors, and don't need the data, you can use these ones. Remember, if you use these functions, your data will be gone. Users can also work with the wrap, cap. This is really for advanced users. For experienced users, the read adaptive parameters, they are not used too often. Besides the functions listed under the menus, users can also work with the COM mode to fix many, many firmware problems. Users can open the COM port, power off and power on the hard drive to check the terminal messages. Users can read the log part to find what's going on within the program. Here's the modernist. Users can check the modernist. Module checking, mode editing, snack, unsnack all modules. Here is a hex view of the modules or defect list. So it's very easy to work with the CG hard drives by the functions and by the COM port. So this is the CG F3 part. We can create the program and we can enter the program by the old hard drives. Anyway, I'm still connecting the F3 hard drive. Just let's try and let's track what, what functions are included inside. So we just need to check the functions. We don't need to select the family. If you have collected one old hard drive, and the family will be automatically detected. So here you can select any one just for test. Users, users can also work with the COM port for many hard drives of the old styles. The ATA operations, rewrite ROM. Read firmware. Users can note firmware by level F mode. You can also edit ID, initialize ID, remove password, cut zones. So users can here jump to F mode. So this one is to switch between the ATA and the COM mode. The latest version. So with the DFL FRP program, users can easily work with the old and new Seagate hard drives. Thank you for watching this video.